What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. We got some absolutely huge changes to the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, and we got to talk about it right now because some of this is pretty damn crazy. So, apparently, Konami in Europe actually just held an event. Uh, a Yu-Gi-Tuber, a well-known Yu-Gi-Tuber with almost 50,000 subscribers, Renbrand, he was there. I'm actually subscribed to him. I watch him from time to time, although I don't speak German. So it can be a little difficult to understand what the heck he's saying from my perspective. But Konami actually held an event in Germany where they invited some content creators and they essentially kind of went over some stuff that's going to be changing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG and some of this stuff is actually pretty damn crazy. So for starters, we are, well, they did announce officially that rares are going to be going bye-bye. They talked about that. We um talked about that on this channel before and I know that it's gone a little under the radar just because they kind of that information kind of came out around the same time that Konami we dropped the ban list and obviously if there's any information coming out any news dropping around the ban list it's going to go for the most part kind of unnoticed but konami did officially say Starting with Eternity Code, the regular rare rarity, the one that has no hollow foil, it's just the silver lettering, that is going to be going away in this set. Now, there were a lot of YouTubers and other people saying, this is the worst thing ever, Cap G. It means the ratios are all going to be thrown off, but it looks like Konami has uh, addressed that as well. In fact, it says right here that there are going to be additional super, ultra, and secret rares in the set, and that they will be distributed flat instead now at first i was like what does that mean that they're going to be distributed flat it says all cards will be evenly distributed which means no short or under printed foils in main sets for the foils so Konami essentially saying that there will be no short printed holographic cards in core booster sets moving forward guys this is um <laughs> this is a promise that I'm not sure if it's possible to actually like can you keep that promise I mean hearing that is like absolutely awesome because having no more short prints means that uh we just won't have a lot of those cards that are randomly crazy expensive because nobody is able Able to pull those and obviously our four core booster sets that we get each year those are obviously like they're, they're very big releases they're important to people that's when we get our anime archetypes amongst other things our tcg exclusive archetypes amongst other things and having no uh you know having no short prints for now on is obviously a good thing it's just man i, I don't <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to call like Konami a liar, but I'm not totally sure if I believe that. I don't know if I'm buying that. And it's just because, you know, I've played the game since the DM era and we've had short prints in Yu-Gi-Oh for forever. It just kind of feels like an inevitability. And for them to just kind of arbitrarily say after 15 some odd years, 16, 17, however long it's been of the TCG, hey guys, we ain't doing short prints no more. <laughs> that just sounds suspicious to me. It's like, <laughs> what? You guys just just realized that no one likes short printed cards and that it pisses everybody off anyways uh konami also announced the official name of the rarity you guys know we just learned with the uh well you know what we can call them prismatic secrets for right now but they're not going to be called prismatic secret rares anymore you guys know the rarity that they introduced into uh chaos impact and obviously some of these cards are just stupidly expensive we've seen some of these damn things reach 500 dollars which I mean, God, that, that's insane. Ghost Rares on their best day couldn't, uh, you know, reach those prices. Not at, uh, you know, not new releases anyways. This is going to be called the Starlight Rare. So I guess no longer will we have to use the term Prismatic Rare or Alternate Rare. They are going to be called Starlight Rare. So regular Rare is going away. And now we have... <laughs> starlight rares i mean i'm still not a fan of these cards they don't look like the worst thing ever but they're they're not ghost rares i'll just i'll just say that they're definitely not they're not ghost rares honestly for um for a set like ignition assault i thought it would be kind of cool if we did have ghost rares not just to get you know obviously like the cover card but how good would a lightning regeki look as a ghost rare? i think is it is, is mst the only ghost rare spell card that we've ever had in yugi like i feel like having ghost rares would be uh super sick but you know me just sitting here wishing about ghost rares obviously is not going to make them come back konami didn't know 
in this information that uh, Raiders are not necessarily permanently gone. But then again, they said that about Ghost Raiders and look how long it's been since we've had those. So Konami, I guess, just leaving the door open for maybe them to integrate Raiders back into the game. Now, speaking of the uh, Starlight Raiders, it is looking like Konami is going to make them a little easier to get. It says Starlight Raiders will be bumped from four to five cards per set. So this means that they're just a little bit easier to get i don't know if you were going to like your sneak peeks and pulling those a bunch but if you have not pulled a, you know, a prismatic or excuse me a starlight rare you might have a better chance at pulling one now now it also says speaking of sneak peeks and this is this is something that's just crazy to me it says Ignition Assault is confirmed to be the last sneak peek. They are killing off sneak peeks, guys. There are not going to be any more sneak peeks. You won't just be able to, I guess, go a week early and uh, pay 20 bucks and get your five packs plus your, plus your promo. But they are giving us an alternative. But it does go on to say these events have been discontinued. From Eternity Code onward, there will be pre-release events in which you can get better promo promo cards i wonder if the promo cards are going to be cards from the core booster set themselves and it just means like you can get the you can get potentially any card i guess we'll have to wait for them to give us more information anyways moving on it says with the visit of the event you get the right to purchase one box of the set the rest of the event will be opening the dueling so I guess instead of like a sneak peek where obviously like you got the promo card, you paid $20 and you got five packs. Now, if you go to one of these uh, pre-release events, you can just buy an entire box of a product. <laughs> oh my goodness. Imagine, imagine what this is going to do to the secondary market because, you know, before you had a lot of people who would just kind of go, they would get their five packs and leave. But imagine if everyone's going to these pre-release events and buying full booster boxes like, like, to me that is that is actually damn incredible that, that's kind of crazy to me it, it, it seems the same as a sneak peek they're just kind of killing off the name sneak peek and sneak peeks have been around god i remember them going all the way as far back as like flaming eternity so sneak peeks have been a thing all the way back since like the dm era at least i remember anyways it also says Special editions will be discontinued with Eternity Code. Ignition Assault will be the final special edition product. A new product will replace it in the future. More information will come later on this. So guys, special editions are done as well. Konami killing off everything. They're killing off rares. They're killing off sneak peeks. <laughs> They're killing off special editions. And this is like one of the most shocking things. I could not believe this when I read it. I thought, I thought someone was actually trolling. It says near the end here. Year, rush duels will not be introduced to the tcg for now they will remain exclusive to japan rush duels are presently considered the ocg equivalent of speed duels so there you guys have it rush duels if you don't like the design of the cards and you're not liking how it looks apparently they're not even coming to the tcg what the what in the holy hell is going on? I understand that we have speed duels and you got people who are excited and they play those and maybe they came from Duel Links and all that, but you're telling me Konami is introducing a new way to play Yu-Gi-Oh that will be in the new Yu-Gi-Oh 7's anime. That's gonna be like one of the main focuses of the anime and we're not even gonna get it in the TCG? <laughs> what? That, that just... I don't know, like to me, that doesn't make any sense at all. There was a little bit of speculation, as I said in my other video, that Rush Duels would end up replacing Speed Duels, but I don't understand how, like, how, how they're going to kind of appeal to that audience because you're going to have younger children who watch the dub version of Yu Gi Oh! 7 and maybe want to get interested and play Rush Duels, and they're just not going to be able to because they don't exist in the TCG. Also, you guys know. I just talked about this a few days ago. Konami announced two Rush Duel starter decks for the OCG. And I, I just kind of assumed like, oh, those are going to be our starter decks for the 2020 calendar year. I mean, I mean, I, I guess that just means like we're not going to be getting those starter decks. And if we're not getting those starter decks, does that defaultly mean we're getting speed dual starter decks in their place? Or does Konami want to give us some other type of starter decks? To me, that's just, that's like one of the most bizarre things on here is the fact that 
that we're not getting rush duels in the TCG. I was really excited about those cards. I wanted to pick up some of the rush duel starter decks just for the cards. I have no interest in playing rush duels, but I just like the aesthetically, I think they look beautiful. But what do you guys think of all of this crazy stuff? I mean, uh, like the new pris or prismatic secrets, which are, again are now starlight secret rares. They're going to be easier to pull. Rares are going away. We're not going to have sneak peeks anymore, but we are going to have press release uh, events where you can buy full boxes. Konami is not going to be introducing rush duels into the TCG, so rest in peps to that. And also, no more short prints in core booster sets, which <laughs> you guys leave it in the comments. Let me know if you actually believe that. Do you guys believe Konami is not going to make any more short prints? I just... As a Yu-Gi-Oh player of 17 years, it's really hard for me to actually believe that. I, I got to see it to believe it. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think of all this craziness in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. And turn on that notification bell for daily videos.